Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you the Gucci Bloom Wallet on Chain and why I love it so much. So I've been using this for quite a few months now. I bought this in June last year, so I've had it, you know, about nine months now. And I'm just going to show you what I think of it and how it's been wearing. So the outside of it is absolutely amazing. It looks exactly like the day I bought it. The stitching still intact. Uh, the quality of the leather is amazing. Um, and I love touching this. This is just the snake. I call it the double-headed snake. Um, it's such a sort of calming, relaxing thing for me to do just to touch that. I just find it very relaxing. Now, once we open this, so you can see there's a little bit of stretching and a little bit of staining that's probably from, uh, I'm guessing it's from a pen or something. Um, and the leather has sort of worn with the opening and closing of the wallet, which has been really good. It doesn't look horrible in the slightest. The chain's still intact. The clips are still going strong. The only thing I am noticing is if you see the side, oh, right, right where the chain is, you can see right there, there's just some cracking that's starting to happen, but I think it's just wear and tear from the chain. And also on the other side, this part's starting to come loose as well. Um, I might, I don't want to really touch, I don't want to glue it down or anything like that. I just want to leave it as is. Um, and there's that little tiny bit, as you can see, that tiny bit of um, stitching that's popping out. But I think that was from manufacturer. I think that was that's always been there. And then if we look inside, um, holds a lot of cards. There's more card slots on the other side, um, but I don't even use them, as you can see. It, it folds out quite big. You can actually look at that. You can actually carry quite a lot in here. Um, I don't use these. I used to, but I did a card clean out and I got rid of all the business cards and stuff I don't use. Um, yeah, so all the cards fit really neatly in there. I always carry a little envelope type thing where I put any sort of um, coupons, vouchers, things like that. That's where I put them, just in that little pocket, or I can put them behind in this area. Stay down. There we go. Um, I put my headphones and house keys just in this little pouch. Uh, and then this zip area is just for smaller items. So I always keep some flosses in here. Uh, I've got some hair ties and I keep my USB stick in here as well. And also any lip balms, things like that. There's the, there's a coin in there. Yeah, I don't carry a lot of cash, so this does the job for me very well. Um, yeah, the only thing I am disappointed in is that um, the texture on on the side um, and that stripping. I think it must be a vinyl of some description or something that's come loose uh, with the wear and tear. I would recommend that, you know, there might be some other sort of material that can be put there. I paid, um, paid $1,610, I believe, for this. And I was going overseas um, after this. It was either 1,610 or 1,410. I think it was 1,410. I can't remember now. But uh, I was going overseas shortly after buying this. So I got my tax back. I got $140 back. So that was like, thank you very much. So I got like a 10% discount really. <laughs> So, yay! That that was awesome because Australia's tax is ten percent, and it's a it's a national tax. No matter what state you live in, it's ten percent. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, if you are per thinking about purchasing a wallet on chain, do your research. Go and into the store if you can. Have a look around, see what you like, what you don't like. This was a limited edition release. Um, so I don't believe they have any more of the wallet on chains. I know they have some of the wallets, um, key cards, uh, watches, things like that. I believe they still have them on the website and in obviously, um, you know, st selected stockists and things like that. Uh, and yeah, take care, subscribe if you're new, throw on a like if you liked this video 
and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.